Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm running the street, and FF Split sucks. It is freaking. It is eight o'clock at night on a Saturday, and what am I doing? I'm recording YouTube videos. And what are you thinking? Are you thinking that I procrastinated this? No. I recorded two YouTube videos today. One of them I recorded four times. The other one I only recorded one time so far. And both of them, my recording software fucked up. So, I have switched from using the software FF Split. I am now using a new piece of software called Open Broadcaster Software. It's not nearly as easy to use, but it is way, way, it actually works. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there in case anyone's following that development. Anyway, that's not why you're here. You're here because you want to see a video about IDEs running on Linux. At least that's what one viewer wanted to see. The user Scotty Animation left a comment on one of my videos asking specifically if I could show him Eclipse IDE, Pure Basic, and Blender running in Linux. And that's a pretty straightforward uh, question. Pretty easy to follow directions. So yes, I will go ahead and show you those running on Linux. Now, I just got my recording software working literally two freaking seconds ago. So I'm going to go ahead and start up VirtualBox. I'm going to keep this in the corner just to make sure it keeps going because I do not want to have to record this a fifth time. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we're loading crap up here. And yeah, I'm praying that this works. I know the virtual machine is going to work. There we go. Uh, now, I told you guys in my earlier recording that you're not going to be able to see. I do apologize that um, my screen resolution, I was not able to really fix that. But, you know, I just, it's, I can't do that. It's not physically possible with my monitor. And I'm not going to worry about it because I just want to start recording this. I'm sorry, I've had a soda. I'm kind of running on sugar right now. All right, here we go. First thing, Blender. Blender does not work very well in VirtualBox. It works great in Linux. I've opened it before in Linux. I've opened it in Windows. It looks exactly the same. The reason that the mouse seems to go behind the window here in Linux is because VirtualBox, um, unlike commercial virtualization programs such as VMware, uh, VirtualBox does not have hardware video virtualization. It only has software virtualization for uh, graphics, which is why you can only go up to 128 megabytes of uh, video memory in your virtual machines with VirtualBox, because it doesn't support uh, anything higher than that, because it's stuck with software virtualization. So, uh, as you can see, Blender looks and works exactly the same way on Linux as it does on Windows, as long as you're not in VirtualBox. So if you install it, on your computer, you should be all good. Uh, next, we're going to go to Eclipse. Eclipse, once again, works exactly the same way on Linux as it does on Windows. Now, the person mentioned that he does do mobile developing. I'm assuming that's Android, um, if you're using Java. And Linux does come with the OpenJDK software, which is the open source implementation of Java. However, you can get the official Oracle provided Java um, this was something I typed up earlier, just not actually a whole lot, is it? Anyway, um, yeah, this is basically, this is, it, it works exactly the same as it did in Windows. It does in Windows. It works the same way. Okay, um, Linux comes with C and C++ as well. It's called GCC. Uh, is the compiler that it runs. So that was, I've showed you Blender, I've shown you Eclipse, and um, yeah, those two, like I said, run exactly the same way on Linux as they do on Windows. Now, they might be a little faster because you might get a little speed increase, um, but the person mentioned that he was on older hardware, um, or not older, but less powerful hardware. Why am I in that folder? Downloads, here we go. So the next uh, item that he wanted to see was called Pure Basic. Now, I could not get Free Basic on Linux. I couldn't get it working because it seemed like it was only available for 32 bit. Um, and this is 64 bit Linux running right now. So you might want to look into that. Um, but then again, I don't know Basic. I didn't really know how to set that up. And I don't really know how this works. Pure Basic looks like a basic 
programming language, and you know what I mean by basic. I've made that pun a hundred times now. Wow. I like how it... Oh, it's tab. I thought it was enter. <sighs> well, yeah, this is your your stuff. This is your... This is pure basic. It looks like it runs pretty well. I think it does use GCC. Um, so, yeah, I played around with it the tiniest bit possible. Um, and, yeah, I... I don't know how to use this. It, it looks kind of like Visual Basic, but then it doesn't work like it at all. So yeah, why did I just... Uh, okay, that's that's pure basic. And this is going to be a really quick video, and it's supposed to be a really quick video. Because my freaking recording software has wasted all my time, and seriously, this was a pretty simple request. Now, I just wanted to show you Aptana Studio, uh, because obviously people other than the viewer who requested this are going to watch. And if you're interested in IDEs, Aptana Studio is a great IDE for web development. It comes with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, as well as some things like Ruby, Rails, I think maybe Python. Does it, does it have Python? That would be, uh, I don't think it has Python. Anyway, as you can see, uh, it puts in white space for you. And also, when you're typing things, then it will tell you what major browsers support your things that you're typing. Here we go. So yeah, see, it's kind of like IntelliType, but um, it does do autocomplete, but it also tells you, like, text align works in all three major browsers, and it also works in, like, Opera, it tells you, and Safari, and um, text align last only works in Internet Explorer, so probably wouldn't want to use that. Um, text emphasis doesn't work in anything, so no idea why you would use that. So yeah, that's a neat little um, IDE there for web development. And there's actually a version of this. This is the standalone version of Aptana. That there is a version that is an Eclipse plugin. And if you get that, then you can actually have multiple people sign in to a server and have them work on your website at the same time. Uh, which me and Melinda did that when we were working on the Nerd on the Street website. And yeah, it's really cool. You can see the other person's cursor typing. It's just like Google Docs, but for code. And there's also a little chat box. So it makes, um, it makes code collaboration really easy. So yeah, I highly encourage you to check that out. Anyway, like I said, couldn't get free basic working on Linux. So if that's like a deal breaker, then you probably want to look into that. Um, but other than that, like I said, the reason I'm not going too far into Eclipse, the reason I'm not going too far into Blender, and like the reason I didn't get NetBeans. Oh, I do have Genie. I, I finally remembered to show you Genie is another IDE. But, um, yeah, I could have gotten NetBeans, and I could have showed you things really in-depth. But really, it, they work the exact same as they do in Windows. Um, the exact same. They, there's no difference. And developers, if you think about it, what is Linux known for? It's known for people using it being complete nerds or geeks or whatever. Um, so really, developers are the, the biggest group that uses Linux. So if you are a developer and you're thinking about switching to Linux, then I highly, highly encourage you to do so. You will find that all the tools you need are there. You just need to look for them. Uh, so yeah, that was, once again, a direct response to a viewer comment. If you have any questions or you want to see anything done, this was more of a proof of concept as well as a camera test. Um, but yeah, I'll also have another video coming out shortly about Android for Android. Uh, device management, and I'm really glad I re-recorded this, actually, because I actually was about to upload what I recorded earlier, which was a compilation of the four different times that the recording software didn't work, and that would have been really crappy. Someone would have trolled on the video, and that would have been horrible. But instead, I re-recorded it, so I hope this was a okay video, although it was a very low amount of information. It answered Scotty Animation's question. So, yeah, once again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Or if it's a smaller question, you don't think I need an entire video about it, then go and register on the forums. The official Men on the Street forums are the place to go. I will respond to any questions you ask there. That's about all for this video. Now I have to go and record another one and then edit both of them. So yeah, uh, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm Men on the Street, and I will see you later. See ya.